Hello there and welcome back. I know I'm not in the booth at the Sadlin Arena. I'm in the comforts of my own home. That's why I've got two jerseys over my shoulder, the Barry Colts and the Seattle Kraken. I'm a jersey collector and uh, yeah, I've got quite a few jerseys. My wife might say I have too many, but I like it. The jerseys are pretty sweet and uh, I figured I'd showcase a pair of them because there's some big news out of the Ontario Hockey League today. Uh, it was announced this morning that Edward Chalet, the first round pick, of the Seattle Kraken has signed an agreement to join the Barry Colts. It's exciting times for Colts fans because uh, Chalet has got a lot of good talent. He won silver with Czechia at the World Juniors last winter. And uh, this is a, a Colts team where there's still some decisions that have to be made, uh, particularly with the overagers. Uh, you're only allowed three OAs, uh, but uh, there is that deadline at the end of November uh, when you uh, have to trim down to three. But uh, right now there's about six, I believe, OAs that are eligible. Uh, so still a lot of decisions to be made. But picking up Chalet, uh, that's a great offensive addition for this Barry Colts team. The Central Division right now, just looking at paper, it looks like it could be a little open. I know if there's some that are picking the Sudbury Wolves to maybe be the top team in the Central. And, you know, they do have a lot of returning players. The Sudbury Wolves should be a good team in the Central. But I like the talent still that the North Bay Battalion have and even Mississauga. They had some great pickups at the OHL trade deadline uh, when they moved some of their big names and they brought in uh, younger talent, uh, which I think Mississauga could surprise a few people this year. And now with Chalet added to the picture with the Barry Colts, who knows what's going to happen. I know the power seems to have shifted to the Western Conference this year uh, with the Saginaw Spirit. They're loading up. They picked up Braden Hache, the former Kingston Frontenac, and Barry Colt. He's going to be a good OA there with the Saginaw Spirit. Of course, they're hosting the Memorial Cup this year. So it's going to be an interesting uh, run. Of course, everyone starts with a clean slate uh, once the regular season begins. Uh, but right now, it's the start of training camp and the Barry Colts making a big splash today, uh, getting uh, Edward Chalet. We'll see how he fits in with the lineup. We'll have to wait and see when he joins the team. Uh, of course, there's still the NHL rookie camps and training camps. Uh, players in the Ontario Hockey League, they're going to be joining those rookie camps soon. And uh, it's going to be interesting. This is, the, this is a fascinating time of year when all the camps are starting up. Uh, who's going to stick with the NHL club? Who's coming back? Uh, Chalet, he's quite the talent, and I'm sure Barry Colt fans are going to be very excited uh, to see him in the Colts colors coming up in a few weeks. Now, the preseason uh, does continue this weekend. The Barry Colts, uh, their next action will be Monday evening. They're going to take on the uh, Owen Sound attack. That's a 6 p.m. start. And then tonight, we got a couple of games. The Brantford Bulldogs making their first road trip as the Brantford Bulldogs. They're going to be down in Erie to take on the Otters. And uh, the Mississauga Steelheads, they also kick off their preseason with a tilt against the Guelph Storm. So I thought I'd come on here quick, uh, talk about uh, the news this morning about Edward Chalet. Let me know what you think of the Colts' chances. Does this change anything in the Central Division? Or uh, who do you got winning the Central or even just the Eastern Conference? Let's start some discussions. And uh, just uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I was told that's what you're supposed to say. It still feels kind of weird doing that because I'm not used to the whole YouTube thing. It's still fresh and we'll see uh, where we go next. So have yourself a great day.